Hello everybody, welcome to uh, first five or first five minutes or something like that, I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. Uh, it's essentially just going to be me playing a game for the first time, for the first five minutes just to give impressions of what I feel, like whether I'm going to play it again or not or whether I feel it's maybe worth your time or your money or... This is in no way trying to like promote anything like that, I'm just, you know, just trying to like start a, a wee series of games whether, whether I feel like they're kind of good or, or not. Um, yeah. So, 1001 Spikes is going to be ep episode 1. Uh, Aben Hawkins. And the 1001 Spikes. The Temple of the Dead Mourns the Living. Okay, so. I'm going to uh, just start now. Uh, new game. Never played this before, so. Uh, be unlockable modes, extra modes, and stuff. So, let's just go for the story. Ukampa. Let's go. My friends are kind of shy. Press button, want to talk to them. Stick around, they might have a lot to say. Jump. Oh, there's a high jump. There's two different kinds of jumps. I would have assumed you just hold the button in if you want to jump for a little longer, but maybe it's to do with, like, trying to learn all the movesets or something. So you've got attacks as well. Right, okay, that's cool. <laughs> just instinctively went and got the <laughs> the key. Oh, right, okay. So Okay. Okay, there's spikes and skulls now. Glowing skull obviously it's a a pick an item you can pick up. Ooh. Okay, so these things here, like, they're trigger traps. Right, it's those squares there that are trigger. Yeah, better move on if you can't get those skulls. I bet you I can get that skull. Oh, whoa! Ha! Okay, so I've got to get that key as well now. So yeah, uh, music's fun. Music's really good in this. Um, platforming is... It feels responsive. It's like really responsive, really... Like for for an older looking game, like an 8-bit style game, it's got uh, some really good... It feels good. It, it, feels, it feels responsive and all that, you know? Oh, there's a button. Uh, right, who, how much you want to bet the button changes these over? Right, okay. So I'm going to go up here. Whoa, whoa. Let's see if I'm able to. Yep, the skull. Nice. Whoa. Right, I can't get up there. So the button's going to change these now. Yep. And yeah, knew it. Ha. Cool. Okay. Yeah, music's cool. And like for an eight-bit looking game, it's really well animated. Look at that fire; you'd never see it like that in like a Spectrum or like a a NES. <laughs> it's got like a really good color palette and stuff. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Scorpions, right? Attack! 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 So it's expecting you to. It's expecting you to use the low and high jumps properly now. Hmm. I wonder what the crouch is for. Like, do you need to go under things at points? Grab that key. Jump up over here. Whoa! There you go. Okay. 
nice. Okay, so I'm looking at my clock here. That's been five minutes. Um, impressions. A uh, nice, responsive platforming. A uh, it's it's like a it's like a really really nice like looking and sounding and pl in terms of gameplay, man. Like it's it's like playing an old Spectrum game, but it's like really really responsive and it feels like and, and you know eight like eight bit Spectrum or like four bit Spectrum games or whatever they were. You know, like they go in at like like four frames a second or something, or eight frames a second. Like this is like a really nice smooth experience, um, but it has that really retro aesthetic. So to start off with, when I when I first uh, I've, I've seen other people playing it, it kind of looked like uh, the Spelunky guy, you know, kind of like Indiana Jonesy Spelunky kind of guy. And I was like, oh, it looks like a like an eight bit version of Spelunky. I'll I'll play that. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't play like Spelunky. Like Spelunky's kind of it's got a different goal in mind. It's looking for like you're looking for treasure and you're looking to get a high score in terms of treasure and like speed running and things like that. Whereas this this has got like that same sort of thing, but it's kind of framed in a Super Meat Boy style kind of. If you die, you re retry quickly, uh, sort of thing, you know. So yeah, a uh, fun game. Uh, I probably will be playing a lot more of it. Uh, yeah, so if this uh, if this interests you, I'll put a link down the bottom of uh, the, in the description, and uh, I'll I'll put a link to like its Steam store page or something. So if you're interested in the game, if you see it on sale or something like that, just go for it. Cause uh, yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's worth it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope that you'll uh, come back for the next episode. I don't know what I'm going to be playing next, but uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Thanks again, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.